Hello everyone. You have probably been using Zoom for a while now, for class, lectures, group work, and even chatting with friends. Today I'm going to show you some of the fun features Zoom has that you may not know about. Let's start with some of the virtual background options that are in Zoom. Start by finding your Zoom camera control icon at the bottom of the screen and click on the tiny arrow next to it. Then select choose virtual background from the menu. This will show you all the backgrounds that are built into Zoom along with any you have added before. You can use pictures or short video clips. If you want to add your own image or video, just click the plus sign and browse to where you have saved your background and select it. Now simply click on the option you want to use and you will see a preview of it before it goes live. If you use an image with words, you will notice that they are backwards. Don't worry about it. This is just how Zoom processes its backgrounds. The words will appear correctly for your fellow meeting attendees. Do you want a custom Zoom background? Something that tells the world who you are or is just silly or cute? Never fear, Canva is here to help you express your creative background desires. Canva is a free graphic design service. You know, they are paid for add-on items, but you do not have to use them. If you never used Canva before, you will need to create a login with username and password. Once you are signed in, simply click the more icon, the three dots, and choose Zoom Virtual Backgrounds. Now you will see a bunch of pre-made templates you can choose from. You can modify them to your heart's content with the text, photos, elements, or other options. When you are done, simply download it to your computer and then select it as your virtual background. Wait, you want to do what I'm doing here and have a slide presentation as your virtual background? Of course. You can do that too, as long as you have screen share permissions, like hosts or co-hosts do. The folks at Zoom even have an easy to follow set of directions for doing this in their help center. To start, go to share your screen icon, choose advanced, and then select the PowerPoint as virtual background. Browse to where you saved your presentation and select it. Now presto, your background is your slide presentation. You'll also have the ability to move or resize your video. And there are two ways to do this. First, by simply clicking on your video. Once you do, you will see a blue box with corners appear. You can now drag your video anywhere you want it on the screen. And you can use the corners to resize it for a better fit into your presentation. The second way is by using the three dots that appear next to the slide number and presentation arrow options and selecting resize my video. Now the same blue box with corners appears and you can adjust your video as you like. After you have adjusted your video to where you want it, you're ready to conduct your presentation using the arrow options at the bottom of the screen. When you are done presenting, simply choose stop share and your presentation background will disappear, returning you to your normal or last used background. Now that takes care of your background. What about you? Yes, you. Do you want to have some filter fun? Filters are options you can use to change your video for yourself and others. Just go back to that little arrow next to the video controls icon as we did for selecting your backgrounds and choose the choose video filter option. Now you can choose between a ton of pre-made fun filters, including some Zoom. There are tons to choose from. You can have digital sunglasses, Christmas lights above you, be the star for your own stage production, or black and white movie. Or just emote your feelings of being a bit confused or sleepy. When you are done playing or just need to get back to work, simply go back in and choose the none option to make your fun filters disappear. You can even choose from third-party programs in Zoom too. Third-party options such as Snap Camera will allow you to have more fun filters. You'll have to install their software to use any third-party program. Note, campus computers will not allow you to install software. Then it is fairly easy to use. Before you join your meeting, click your profile icon at the top right of the Zoom screen. Choose Settings from the menu. Choose Video from the left-hand menu. And under the camera drop down, choose the third party app you want to use. When you are done using that filter, simply go back and choose a different camera, usually integrated webcam on that. If you're in a meeting, you can get these filters removal options by using the up arrow next to the camera icon and choosing video settings. Okay, now you've played with a world of video background possibilities, did your slide presentation and a ton of fun with filters. For something a little more productive and fun, let's talk green screens. Zoom is a free way to get yourself a green screen recording studio. This is handy when you need to find a nice, quiet recording location, and you don't have to lug rolls of green screen fabric around with you to film in front of. 
Simply find or make an all green picture and use it as a virtual background. Look, instant green screen. Now you can record yourself and then bring that recording into any video editing software you like. Use your favorite program, green screen options, and presto, you can be anywhere you want to be. That's all the zany Zoom fun I have for you today, folks. We'll see you next time.